What's going on guys? George with another video. Today I am out exploring with the wifey. Yes, look at this place. <whistles> Absolutely beautiful. And uh, today was just one of those days where she worked in the morning, I had work in the morning, and we decided, you know what, we're gonna just go out for a little bit and we're gonna just cruise on and drive and this is where we ended up. So we're gonna make some coffee, eat some barritas, and uh, we're gonna set up the tent, we're gonna watch a movie and just hang out. So enough said, we're gonna set up the tent, give you guys a little tour of the little penthouse and get this video started. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of my eye camper just because, I don't know, figured a lot of you guys would be interested. But one cool thing is that it does have a locking mechanism and it, it basically takes 40 seconds to open but it looks like it's frozen this time around. Ah, my hands are cold. All right guys, sorry about this. It's kind of low, it's cold. This thing's like frozen, but it basically takes a couple, couple seconds to open and deploy. Basically you grab this, you pull it down multiple times like this, bring it out, and just like that, we are nice and set up. All right guys. So it got dark on us real quick, but before the movie gets started, a nice cup of coffee with some barritas. By the way, yes, I bought some barritas. It's gonna be perfect. If you guys are wondering, this is the stove that goes for the Scottle Grill. You can also remove it and just add the propane tank just like so, and you can use it to warm up hot water, your noodles, if you're cooking, whatever you're doing. And of course, we have to have our front runner cups. These things are amazing, by the way. They're available on my website. You know, just a little advertisement, but if you guys wanna scoop one up, check them out. So, put it up top. This burner has an instant igniter. Oh. You know what it is, guys, when it's cold, I don't know if you guys have had this issue before, but when it gets cold, Propane has a little bit of trouble starting and even the igniters and I'm not BSing you guys if you guys are watching this and you guys camp in weather like today which is probably like 22 in the 20s um, the propane tank will have a little bit of trouble so I'm gonna get myself a regular lighter and get this thing going so as you can see the flame the flame only wants to be here on this right side and that is because of the cold weather Give it a good solid turn. That way the burner gets nice and warm and then after that we can actually lower it. And as you can see now, it works properly. So this is just like a quick tip. Uh, this is not a crazy video. This is just to kind of give you guys a couple of tips that I use, especially when camping in very cold weather like it is today. Any of you guys didn't know, my beautiful wife just happens to work at Starbucks, which is her dream job. <laughs> And uh, if you guys travel with me or have been on camping trips with me, uh, know that I always carry Starbucks. In this case, we're not going to get fancy with no French press or what other, what other devices can you use when you're out here? Pour overs. Pour overs, you know. Uh, today, we're just going to keep it simple. Uh, instant coffee. The Colombia instant coffee is the best. So if you guys ever discontinue that, I'm going to be sad. Cockroach. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, hey, you know what? My hefa works there. And if you discontinue that coffee, eh? Hey. You're gonna, you're gonna hit, you're, you're gonna hear from SA over here. <laughs> no, I'm nowhere near next again. All right, my love, how's the movie so far? It's good. Yeah? Yeah, you're acting like you've never seen The Grinch. I think, you know, I've, I've probably seen The Grinch, I don't know, three to four times, and that's thanks to my niece and, niece and nephew. It's hard to talk right now, it's so cold. But, uh, niece and nephew. My niece and nephew. But, uh, man, 
I, I don't know, maybe it's just because we're out here, you know, and it just enhances... Like, you don't have any distractions, it's just me and my wife. You don't have your phone, you don't have reception. I mean, you have a big-ass camera that's following you left and right. But for the most part, it's just you, nature, you know, the, the stuff that you bring, and you're luckily to have a nice iPad to watch a movie, man. So, if you have a date, or you have a girlfriend, or a boyfriend, and you're watching this, and you want to do a nice romantic dinner, you gotta do what we're doing tonight. It's pretty dope, huh? Download a... How did you, do, how did you download that? On Netflix, you can do... Um, you download it so you can watch it offline. Mm, so that's what she did. She planned it all out to have a nice romantic dinner. Meaning cup of noodles and a nice romantic movie night. So you might be wondering, George, why do you have all the lights on? Well... When you camp alone, you want to make sure that there's no critters around. You know, you want to make sure that your presence is known. But uh, this place is absolutely beautiful. It's like a winter wonderland over here. But look at these uh, icicles here. That's how cold it is out here, guys. It is pretty cold. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, tearing down thankfully was not that bad because we do have that eye camper and no this is not a paid advertisement but we we've gone camping in the snow and very cold weather before when we had to set up a crazy tent and that is brutal usually should go inside but with a fast tear down like this i mean we're still cold but pretty pretty quick yeah did you have fun i did will you do it again yes. would you recommend this to anybody that's a couple watching this is this better than a drive-in theater? We're really not that far in LA from here, Big Bear, or other places, so. Definitely recommend it, huh? Yep. She's like, George, I'm cold. Just shut up, please. No. End the video. No, I'm just, no, thank you for, for always sticking around in this crazy, crazy adventure of ours. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I don't know what kind of outro we're going to be getting because it is really cold. But if this is an outro, then that means you guys are lucky. But if not, hey, you can always tune in next time, right? Yep. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll go blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is like, I don't know if my mouth is freezing, but let me, let me try that again. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace, guys. So before I end this video, I do want to take the time to talk about the tires that I'm running right now because keep in mind, this is a brand new set of tires that I'm running and to tackle uh, snow the way I'm doing today which is soft snow and at this point very hard ice they're they're performing absolutely phenomenal so these tires are the Toyo Open Country All-Terrain 3 and let me tell you something these are by far some of the best tires that I've had and I tell you this with confidence because I just got back from Black Bear Pass for those of you guys that haven't seen the video I mean, these tires took a beating and now to be able to tackle snow like we are today without airing down, I mean, they're, they're, it's pretty impressive. You guys already know the get down. I'll be linking everything down below in the bio. So if you guys want to read more on these products or these tires, whatever you saw today, uh, you guys can go ahead and do so. This is not a paid advertisement from any company. This is just me doing you guys a favor instead of you guys going on forums and looking stuff up. You guys will get a direct link where you guys can just go on there and read up on them.